Um, it's 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 life changing. That's really a good thing. Clean and clear. That's another. Hi everyone, it's Lisa and I'm back with another video. Before I proceed with the rest of the video, I'd just like to give you a heads up that it's actually quite rainy outside. So if you're hearing a little bit of a noise, that's just the downpour outside. I'm really sorry about the condition, the environment, and oh my god, it just looks so gloomy and it's very noisy, but I really have no other time to film this video. So yeah. This is actually going to be my August favorites video. I know I'm a little bit late on this. I actually plan to upload this on the first week of September. Uh, but I wasn't able to film it on time. So yeah, I'm just uploading it right now. Now before I move on with my actual favorites video, I would just like to invite everyone to join my giveaway in collaboration with Wishtrend. I'm not really sure if you guys have already seen it. But I have an ongoing giveaway. It's an international giveaway. Uh, with three lucky winners. It will end on September 13, 2014 and you will get the chance to win a Claire's Be Clean Natural Soap. So I'm gonna be placing like a link somewhere in the video and in the down bar as well. So make sure to check that out and join the giveaway. So I'm also going to be sharing with you some of the highlights of the month of August in my life just in case you guys are interested. But if not, I'm going to be provide, providing a link down below so you can just skip straight towards the beauty favorites part of this video. Okay, so what happened in my life during the month of August? Now if you didn't already know, August is actually my birth month. I was born in the first week of August and I just had a small celebration with some of my family and friends. And if you've seen my Korean beauty birthday haul and you would know that I received some good stuff this year so that's really a good thing but right about in the same week I applied for a major exam I'm not actually gonna tell you what kind of exam it is but it's a life-changing examination and the only reason why I'm not mentioning what type of exam it is it's because it's too much of a pressure just trying to let other people know that I, I already took that exam so I only tell a few people about it, so yeah, I will talk about it once I'm done and over with. So yeah, make sure to watch out for my future videos. Probably it's also going to be in my next favorites video. Because this exam, I've actually already taken it last Saturday and last Thursday, September 4 and September 6. But the results won't come out until 13 days after. So. Yeah, it's going to take quite some time before the, the grades, or not really the grades, but before the scores are released. But I don't know if you've noticed, I've gone a little bit darker, but my skin tone, my complexion is a little bit darker right now. And this is because in the middle of August, I went on a swimming party with some of my previous workmates and I just got too carried away. So yeah, I got a little bit tan. And that's about it for the month of August. I've just been really busy with preparing for the examination. That's why I wasn't able to film my favorites video on time. So let's move on with my beauty favorites because it's, I think this is probably going to be a very long video. So for the first item that I would like to share with you, I'm going to be mentioning Holika Holika Vit B, or Vita B Daily Mask. And I'm actually just going to provide you with a small clip or a photo right here just because I already uh, finished the product out and I already threw it away so I can't really show it to you guys but it's basically just a daily mask and I don't know if you guys are aware but one skincare trend in Korea is to use a face mask or a mask sheet every single day. So that's one of their secrets as to how they keep their skin looking youthful and glowy. And to be honest, I wasn't really much into that trend. I do use mask sheets, but I just use it on a weekly basis, two times a week tops. But I never really applied mask sheets on my face every single day just because I've always had oily acne prone sensitive skin and I was just afraid that putting mask sheets on my face on a daily basis would be too rich for my skin type that it would eventually break me out but thankfully this Holika Holika Vita B, Vita B daily mask is actually designed to keep your skin looking clean and clear so, so I was kind of convinced that to use it on my skin just because you know I have a lot of blemishes and I thought that you know maybe 
it could be one way to help with healing all those zits. It's a pack with 10 sheets inside, so you can use it for 10 consecutive days. Thankfully, it did not break out. If anything, I feel that my skin has improved while using that particular mask sheet. So I'm really, really happy that I got to try it out. And I really like that product. It's just 195 pesos from my favorite Korean online shop called Kuchipita. So I'm definitely going to repurchase it if she restocks on it. Now, the next item that I would like to share with you, a skincare item, would have to be this the face shop wrinkle stop eye cream i'm sure you've seen this in a couple of my videos this is included in my 2013 beauty favorites as well as in my korean beauty birthday haul just last month and i know i've already talked about this this is actually my holy grail eye cream and i am just so in love with this it has improved some of my fine lines and my dark circles and a little bit of the puffiness on that area so yeah I highly recommend this product when I bought it it wasn't a buy one take one promo I'm not really sure if the promo still applies till now probably not because it's already been a month but yeah this is very worth it it's priced at 995 pesos another skincare product that I would like to share with you is this the face shop clean face clear away spot and this is actually a product that is reminiscent of the Mario Badesco I'm not really sure drying lotion, something like that, but it's especially great if you are experiencing cystic acne because it draws the pimples out, it dries it out a lot quicker. Highly, highly recommend this. This is, at, I believe, priced at 595 pesos and it's super worth it. It's a lot cheaper than the Maria Badesco one. The product that I would like to share with you this month would have to be actually a product that I already showed you in my July favorites. The product that I am talking about is the Nature Republic Soothing and Moisture Aloe Vera 92% Soothing Gel. And I've told you uh, during the recap of my life for the month of August, I went on a swimming party, a swimming getaway, and I kind of got carried away with the swimming and all that, that I actually slightly burned a portion of my face right here. Like when I got home and I, look, I looked at the mirror, I saw that my face was super pink right here and it was kind of stinging a little bit. So I remember this particular product from Nature Republic and I just washed my face and applied it, kept it on my face for the whole night and when I woke up, the redness definitely died down and it wasn't stinging anymore. So really, it does its job to soothe the skin. And I highly, highly recommend this. This is only 245 pesos from one of my favorite Korean brands, Nature Republic. That's about it for my skincare favorites. The next products that I would like to share with you are some of my beauty favorites. And most of them are actually stuff that are for your lips. So here they are. The first one that I would like to share with you is this Edit House Color Pop Shine Tint and this is in the shade number 3 Vita Pop and I'm pretty sure you've already seen this in my summer orange makeup tutorial and in my summer spring 2014 top 5 lip products looks like that it's a very bright orange it's a fusion between like a lip gloss and a lip color a lipstick or a lip tint something like that so it's very pigmented and it's quite shiny as it claims to be. So another product that I've been loving for the month of August is this Everblana Pro Longwear Lipstick in the shade Retro. And it's just basically an old lipstick in my collection. It's a red-orange lip color and I like to use them side by side to create a gradient lip color. I don't know why. It's the rainy season here during the month of August, but I've been really so obsessed with using orange lip colors. And because of that, I really wanted to match my cheek color. So I got to use this Nature Republic Lip and Cheek Color in the shade Red Tangerine. And even though this is a product that can be used for both your lips and your cheeks, I mainly just use it for my cheeks just because I feel that it is a little bit drying on the lips. Another beauty favorite that I've been loving is this K Tokyo Eyebrow Color. It's a brow mascara 
and it is in the shade BR-1. And frankly speaking, performance-wise, it's just pretty much the same as the Nature Republic one that I used to use. This is just a little bit pricier. This is priced at $595, but the color is definitely darker than the Nature Republic one. So I feel that when I want to create a stronger like look, then I definitely wear this. I'm actually wearing it right now, so as you can see, it's not as dark, but it still lightens up my, my dark brows, but not as much as the Nature Republic one. So I actually already have a review of this in my blog, so I'm definitely just going to be linking that down below. Now the rest of the video would tackle my non-beauty favorites, so if you're not interested in that, then you can just stop watching the video. But if you are, then let's go on right ahead with Okay, so for my non-beauty favorites, let's start right ahead with my movie favorite. Now, there has been a lot of great movies that were released in the month of August, but unfortunately, because I was so busy with the exam preparation, I was only able to watch one, and that is The Guardians of the Galaxy. It's just really great. I like it. It's quite funny, and I just like all the characters and the interactions there. Now, if you see me looking down there, that's just because I have my list in my iPad, so I don't miss out on anything. So, over the month of August, I've been obsessed with watching different animes. I don't know why, but yeah, I've watched a lot of animes, and instead of just talking about them one by one, what kind of story they tell, I'm just gonna tell you what type of anime it is and what other popular anime it is reminiscent of for me. So the first anime that I watched would have to be Nisekoi. It's a romantic comedy school anime and I really like the show. It's already done and finished so if you want to watch uh, an anime that has already completed a season then you can definitely watch Nisekoi. It is reminiscent of Love Hina for me because it's all about childhood promises and all that. And then there's Ao Haruraido and this is actually a slice of life romance comedy type of anime and if you've liked Kimi ni Todoke then you're definitely also gonna like Ao Haruraido. And then there's Haikyuu. Now Haikyuu is a sports comedy anime so it revolves around volleyball so if you're interested in volleyball or if you just like sports anime then I highly recommend watching Haikyuu. It's by Shonen Jump so it's practically as good as Kuroko no Basket. So if you like Kuroko no Basket, then definitely you should watch Haikyuu as well. And then the last anime that I have been obsessed about is Gekkan Shoujo no Zaki-kun. And this is actually reminiscent of uh, Tonari no Kaibutsu-kun just because I feel that the characters in this particular anime, they are pretty weird. <laughs> and I like the weirdness that happens whenever they are all together. It's mainly a comedy anime with a little bit of romance. It's still ongoing so if you don't mind waiting every single week for an episode then I highly suggest that you try it out. Now let's move on with my book favorites. Unfortunately I only have one to share with you guys just because the other books that I read were kind of weird and I didn't really like it. So the book that I would like to recommend or would is that is included in my favorites would have to be Speechless by Hannah Harrington. This is actually a Harlequin romance novel if not, I'm not mistaken and I really like the story of this book. It's not a new book so it's definitely out there somewhere. You can read it and it's great! I was able to finish it in just one sitting. It's and then before I forget, I also have started watching a lot of Korean dramas over the past month and some of them would have to be Marriage Not Dating. Now, I only found out about this drama through Angela or Teddy Bear Kitties and to be honest, at first I was really confused as to why she was obsessed with the show. I mean, I looked at the cast and I was like, who are they? I mean, I've heard of Han Gru, but who is she? But you know, she would, it was highly recommended in her July Favorites video, so I was like, okay, I better just try it out for myself before I judge. And after watching one episode, I was hooked. If you're into romantic comedy types of genre, types of drama, then you're definitely gonna love Marriage Not Dating. Another drama that I've been loving is It's Okay, That's Love. 
And this is a drama that stars Gong Yoo Jin of Master Sun and Jo In Sung of That Winter The Wind Blows. This drama also has Lee Kwang Soo of Running Man in it and Theo of EXO. So if you like EXO, if you like Theo, then Theo's here. And oh my God, Theo's acting was superb. I really like this show. It's a romantic comedy type of drama, but it's a little bit unique because it has a little bit of psychiatric aspects in it. So it's really interesting. I highly recommend that you guys watch it out. It's almost done, so you don't have to worry about not being able to watch. Plenty of episodes on your free time because I like to do that. I like to marathon on a drama. And then the next show is actually something that I'm kind of in between. Um, I don't know. I like it, but I'm not really sure if a lot of people would also like it because I'm kind of childish when it comes to like watching romantic comedy type shows. It's been a long time since I graduated high school, but I like watching high school-centered <laughs> dramas. <laughs> it's not make me mature, but whatever. I really like the show. It's called High School Love On, and if you like Infinite, especially uh, Woo Yeon and Sung Yeol, then you're definitely gonna like this show because it stars both of them. And I also like the lead actress Kim Seon. Uh, speaking of shows, I've also been into this variety show called We Got Married. Especially the pairing between Girls Days Yura and Hong Jung Hyun, the Jonga couple. Ah, oh, I really like their chemistry, their just pairing and everything. I I only watch the show because of them. But the other couples are quite interesting as well. For the past month, I've also been loving a lot of songs. So I'm probably not gonna be able to talk about them all, but I'm just gonna enumerate them one by one and maybe talk about a few of them. So there's Red Velvet's Happiness, FX's Red Light, Girls Day's Darling, Infinite's Back, Winner's Empty. Oh my god, I love Winner's debut. I love Empty. I also like coloring but Empty has a special place in my heart just because I like everything about it. And then there's Taylor Swift's Shake It Off. Oh my god, I've been listening to this song non-stop. I love this song. It's addictive. And then there's High 4 and Kim Yerim's A Little Close. I like that song a lot. And then there's Twin Forks, Cross My Mind. This is actually a part of the OST of It's Okay, That's Love. It really sounds like an old song from before, but I really like it how it sounds. So yeah, I'm including it in my favorite list. And last but not the least, we have to be Super Junior's Mamacita. Ay, 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 ay. Oh my god, I'm such a big Super Junior fan if you didn't know. So I'm really, really happy that they already got to do their comeback with our leader, Ituk. Oh my god, he looks so amazing. And of course, my ultimate bias, Dongye. Cute. Oh, everyone just looks so amazing, and the song is absolutely, absolutely amazing as well. And if you haven't heard of the whole album, I would have to say that it's one of their best out there. I mean, I gotta be honest, I'm a big Super Junior fan, but I've never been this impressed with their whole album. Like, I pretty much like all of the songs in there, and oh, it's just so amazing. Hi. Oh, yeah. That's it for my August favorites video. I hope that you guys weren't too bored watching this video. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. Once again, I would just like to invite everyone to join my giveaway. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this video. And what else? Subscribe to this channel. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!